Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Weviate on YouTube. We have a super exciting new podcast announcing Weviate on the AWS Marketplace. To kick things off, I think this is a really informative clip from Eddie and Dillocker, CTO and co-founder of Weviate, explaining how hybrid SaaS works. We started off with this conversation topic around different uses of multi-tenancy from separating different cloud instances from each other to users within a Weviate instance. So with that said, let's dive into it. Here's Eddie and on hybrid SaaS. Yeah, so with tenancy, because I talked about multi-tenancy before, but in a very different context. So it's kind of a, a, a difficult term because before multi-tenancy referred to our users having multiple users. In this case, now tenancy refers to sort of the isolation boundaries within AWS. So, um, so, so let's say our chatbot application from before is an AWS customer. They don't want their data to be mixed up with competing chatbot application, <laughs> but still within sort of this single tenancy setup, they might have multiple users. So it's an, a, a, a term used in, in multiple settings. Nevertheless, the, the concepts are exactly the, the same for us. So data that shouldn't leave a certain realm, and this is this is something where um, the the sort of again those using the same term, the single tenancy nature of your own VV8 deployment in your private VPC in your cloud tenant, um, that that gives you the capability to stay completely in control. So I'm um, touched upon this uh, at the very beginning. Um, if you want just something fast up and running, just use your VBA cloud service or your VBA cloud service in, in that uh, um, definition of tenancy is multi-tenant. So that means other customers that use the VBA cloud service run in the same AWS project, for example, on our cloud service. If you have these requirements for for strict isolation, you can run it in your own, um, yeah, we say in your own VPC and the VPC is in your cloud tenant. So it's basically whatever kind of boundaries you you want to define. And you can do this. Um, This is something that we're we're launching right now as we're recording this. It's not public yet. Maybe it will be when we're, we're, uh, depends on on how long it takes to edit this. Or we're just about to launch on the VV, uh, not on the VV8, on the AWS marketplace. We're launching VV8 on the AWS marketplace. Um, And it's a a one-click deployment kind of setup where where we can do exactly that. So if you have an existing VPC, you can deploy into that VPC. If you're starting from scratch, you can create a new VPC. And this is the, the kind of setting where you can make, sure that because your data that's contained in VV8 is then wherever VV8 is deployed. So exactly the same concepts. It can never be accessed by anyone else. It can never be mixed up with someone else. No one else has access. You are completely in control. If you tomorrow you decide you want to tear it down, you want to delete the disks, you are in, in, in that kind of kind of control, which is great for, for all kinds of yeah security, compliance, et cetera, settings. Uh, the, the downside basically is that it's, it's potentially a bit more operations effort because now you're running VV8. And this is where our hybrid SaaS idea comes in. So with hybrid SaaS, basically the VV8 team helps you run this. So depending on how much data you're willing to give away, for example, one thing that you could opt into is saying like, hey, I want to push my metrics to the VV8 team. Then what we can do is monitor the metrics. So you can say like, hey, you're about to run out of XYZ, or we see a pattern here or there, or maybe if something happens, um, then, then and, and you're reaching out for, for support to us, then we can say like, yeah, okay, we, we, we have the kind of di- diagnostics uh, tools that, that we need. Or another option is like, even if, if you can't even share metrics, uh, then we can also in the, in the sort of uh, least common denominator would be, we can jump on a Zoom call and maybe this, maybe uh, sort of figure out what's going on together. So you get like various levels of, of support contracts and support uh, uh, settings in that, that kind of hybrid SaaS setting where um, yeah, the, the sort of underlying thing is you own your data and we help you with the operations part as much as you want.